story right now. You're discovering, you just discovered something. I could tell the light bulb went off for you. Hey, if my pitch is constant, then my thrust will vary, right? Okay. Have you noticed on a descent on the navigation display, you get a level off stick that looks like this and it shows you where you're going to level off? Yeah, if it's blue, it's arm. If it's white, it's not arm. Okay. So, the level off stick is only 100% accurate when the FMA is in a mode where pitch is fixed. Okay, I know that's a lot. Let me say it again. The level off stick. There's probably some other technical name for it, but the level off, I think that's really what they refer to it as, the level off stick. When you're in an FMA mode that is a constant pitch. Okay? Glide slope star. What else is a constant pitch? Final lap. Final lap is basically a glide slope. Okay? What else is a constant pitch? Vertical speed. Why? Because you're telling it how much vertical speed to maintain, which is fixed. Fly path angle. Right? FPA, what angle to maintain. All of these are a fixed pitch. So the level off stick is accurate because uh, assuming your pitch never changes, which it won't because I'm in a fixed pitch, that's where I'm going to level off. Is that what it says using half the speed brace? It counts for half using half the speed brace is that part of the That is true of the intercept. Lightning bolt. The star, okay. That deal. Yeah. Cool. So now, let me give you another example. You're descending in thrust idle open descent, which is very common. ATC says United 101 descent and maintain three. You set three, you pull, and, and it goes thrust idle open descent, and you start down, right? The level off stick will appear, but it's not 100% accurate because your pitch is not constant. Your thrust is constant at idle. And your pitch is going to vary to maintain speed. Yeah, because you went around unrestricted, pulled it, so now it's going to just do pretty much doing a it'll 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 descend at whatever managed speed is there or if your selected speed it'll descend at the selected speed but let's let's just say for a second that you're in selected speed to make it simple you selected uh, uh, 250. So if I'm selected 250 and I start down, the airplane is going to descend at 250 knots. And the rate of descent needed to maintain this 250 might be 1,200 feet per minute until maybe you hit a little weight turbulence or maybe you get into some denser air or maybe, oh my God, or maybe, you know, I don't know, something happens where... Let's say as you're descending, your 250 suddenly, it, you get a quick little increase up to 260, 255, 260 for a minute. It goes up, right? The airplane naturally is going to say, well, wait a minute. I don't want to descend at 260. I want to go to 250. So it's going to begin to bring the nose up, which is going to cut my descent rate down to 800, which is going to affect my level off stick. 